کل بازی In 27 BC, I was the first Houdini. This ain't the first you've seen me. J. Bezzy, this is way too easy. In 27 BC, I was the first Houdini. This ain't the first you've seen me. J. Bezzy, this is way too easy. In 27 BC, I was the first Houdini. This ain't the first you've seen me. J. Bezzy, this is way too easy. In my grave, I never die. I've always tried, but I never lie. I never lie, and I've always tried, but I've always died. What? I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the show. Still in a go with my car trick flow. Blow. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video, and I am back, and yo, that song is lit. First Houdini has been on Spotify and Apple Music for about five and a half weeks now. We are almost at 50 streams, so please go to the link down below and stream First Houdini on Spotify or Apple Music or SoundCloud, or YouTube Music, or whatever music site that you guys got. Please, 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 please. I'm back, finally. Man, it's been a while, hasn't it? I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the amazing support. I gained a few subscribers while I was gone, and I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long, but I've been super busy. Today, I have an open day. Today is Sunday, October 14th, and... Yeah, it's been a long time. So, I got an amazing card trick tutorial plan for you guys. I will not show you guys a performance because I don't have a performance set up. But I want to show you guys how to do the trick. I was thinking of this trick in, in theater one time. Yeah, I'm in theater class at school. And I didn't look up any tutorials on it at all. I just thought of it off the top of my head and, and tried it out and made it my own. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below, comment on any videos you guys want me to do next, and hit that little notification bell so you guys will never miss a video from me. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so you guys can come hit me up, say what's up, talk if you guys need to talk, or give me more video ideas. That is it for now. Let's get right into this video. I have some announcements at the end. For this trick, you are going to need two decks of playing cards. I am using the Black Artisan and the White Artisan deck by Theory11. These are amazing cards. Um, I can put a link down below to where you guys can buy them. But, before we begin this trick, I just want to say that I will be doing a giveaway at 200 subscribers. So if you guys hit that subscribe button, get me to 200 subscribers. If you have post notifications turned on, and you comment down below on this video, once I reach 200 subscribers, you guys will be entered in the giveaway. I will be giving away one white artisan deck and one black artisan deck to two lucky winners. However, it is United States only, so anyone from outside of the country, I am sorry, but I don't have enough money to send it outside of the country. So, yeah. Please be in the U.S. if you are entering in the giveaway. So like I was saying, you're going to need two decks for this trick. For one of the decks, it doesn't matter which deck, but for one of the decks, you are going to have a setup beforehand. And what you're going to do is you're going to set up all the red cards separate from all of the black cards, as you can see here. So I have all the red cards in this pile separated from all of the black cards in this pile. And it doesn't matter if the jokers are in here. I mean... You can take them out if you want to, but that's what you're going to do. You're going to separate the cards between red and black in one pile, or in one deck. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that deck, and you're going to set it in your pocket, or in this case, I'm going to set it aside because I don't need it yet. However, with the deck you're actually going to use, what you want to do is you want to make sure it's mixed up good and shuffled. You can show the spectator that the cards are mixed up. And to make it a better trick, what I do is I give the spectator about half the cards and have them shuffle up the deck. So they have their cards that they're shuffling, and the magician is shuffling his, his half of the cards. Now, here's one secret that you gotta do, okay? If you're the magician, what you gotta do is you gotta look for one card that you wanna flip over. I like to do, like, the Eight of Hearts sometimes the three of spades it can be red or black it doesn't matter the magician can choose any card in his deck and you gotta secretly flip the card face up without the spectator knowing okay that's a little bit of a secret that you gotta do without the spectator knowing there's easy ways of doing it then and i want you guys to figure that out on your own okay so once you know the spectator's fine with how he shuffled and once you've turned your card face up 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pile, you're gonna put it on top of his pile, and what you're gonna do is you're going to put it back into the deck. Now you're going to mention this to him how we're putting it back in the deck, and you'll set that one aside from the other one. So now what you'll do is you'll tell them that you had another deck either in your pocket or whatever, and you're gonna tell them that you set the cards up beforehand in red or black cards. Okay, so you're gonna find the cutoff between the red and the black, and you're going to have them choose one. You can say either red or black. Which one? And if they say black, you're gonna hand them the black. If they say red, you're gonna keep the red and still hand them the black. Basically, you're doing magician's choice. So let's say they said black. I'm going to hand them the black cards. We don't need them. So we're gonna use the red cards. Now what I like to do is I like to take the red cards and I like to separate them between hearts and diamonds. So, you know, I have all the diamonds here and I have all the hearts here. Now you gotta remember that the cards you flipped up was the eight of hearts, okay? So, you're going to have to make them choose the hearts. So you can say diamonds or hearts, wh which one? And saying which one, you're not specifying which one do you want to keep, which one do you want to put away, you're just saying which one. So let's say they said diamonds, you're going to hand them the diamonds. If they would have said hearts, you would have handed them the diamonds anyway. So you hand them the diamonds, we don't use them anymore. So now what I like to do here is I like to separate the hearts between face cards and number cards. So there's only three face cards, you know, the jack, queen, and the king. And then there's ten number cards, you know, ace through ten. And their card is a number card, so you're going to make them choose the number cards. So let's say they said number cards. You're going to hand them the face cards and say, okay, we're going to use the number cards. So now what I like to do once I get to the number cards is I like to separate the cards between five th eighth to five and six seven eight nine and ten so you're gonna make them choose six to ten since their card is the eight of hearts you're gonna make them choose the six to ten because eight is between six and ten so let's say this at eighth to five you're gonna hand them the eighth to five and say okay you can hold on to those we don't need them so now what i like to do is i'm i'm missing a nine i don't know where it's at but Normally, there would be five cards. I separate them between three and two. In this case, there's four cards. I'm going to separate them between three and one. So you'll say, so you you'll say six, seven, or eight, nine, and ten. Now, of course, you just got to remember which pile the eight is in, and you got to make them choose that. So let's say they said seven, eight, and ten. You're going to give them the six. So now what you're going to do is you're going to try to get the eight into the middle. If it's on top of the packet like this, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle the card to the bottom, and then you're just going to deal one card on top of it, just like that. And then you're just going to keep dealing one, two, three. And that keeps the eight in the middle. However, if it's already in the middle, you just got to do the one, two, three, you know, kind of thing. And that keeps the eight in the middle, just like that. So once the eight is in the middle, you can set it on the table. And you can have them touch the back of any card. Now, if they touch the back of the middle card, you'll hand them both of the two cards. Because that is the eight. However, if they choose an outside card, you could be like, okay, you didn't choose this card. And you can show them that they didn't choose the seven of hearts. And then they have two left. you got to remember where the eight's at. So they choose this one, right? Let's say they chose the eight. What you're going to do is you're going to give them the card other than the eight. And you'll be like, okay, cool. You chose the eight. However, if they would have chosen the eight, you still would have given them the ten. So, so basically, you forced the eight of hearts onto them. Now, they don't know that in this deck... You flipped over the eight of hearts. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out the deck. Be like, yo, we can go back to this deck. You're going to fan out the cards. And you can show them that one card is face up in the deck. The card you flipped over the eight of hearts. And you'll definitely probably get some pussy after this. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. This is a different angle than I normally do. I hope to get an, either a new tripod or get this tripod fixed. But I'm back. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. One announcement that I'm making is the giveaway. We, If we reach 200 subscribers, I will be giving away a Black Artisan deck and a White Artisan deck. So please smash that subscribe button down below for more great content. Also, this entire week I am super busy. So I can't promise that I will get a video, but I can try. So that's all I got to say. Stay tuned for more videos. And always remember, keep mastering life.
a step back with a big snap and the sick raps get frap as a mishap with a chin strap this track and the diss track this is rich crap with a big slap no one can admit that buying in a six pack put on a big pot crunching on a big sack throwing in a thick sack no one can dismiss that rapping on a slick trap <laughs>